Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is uh, silicosis. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Uh, the link is uh, in the description area which is just below this video, you know. And uh, if you wish to subscribe this channel for more information or uh, informative videos, uh, there is a subscribe button below this video as well. So you can click that button to subscribe. Now I come to the topic, uh, silicosis, you know. You know, silicosis uh, is uh, a condition which is caused by inhaling uh, too much silicon uh, over a long period of time, you know. And uh, silica is a, a highly common and crystal-like uh, mineral which is found in sand, in rocks, in the quartz, you know. And uh, it can have deadly consequences for the people who work with the, the stones or concrete or glass or uh, other forms of rocks, you know. Uh, the next thing is what are the causes of uh, silicosis, you know. You know, any level of uh, exposure to silicon or silica can result the silicosis, you know. And there are three types of silicosis. Number one is acute, accelerated and chronic uh, silicosis, you know. Now acute uh, silicosis uh, forms a few weeks or months after high levels of silica exposure, you know, and this condition uh, progresses rapidly, you know. And the accelerated silicosis uh, comes on five to ten years after the exposure, and the chronic silicosis occurs ten years or more after the silicon, sorry, silica exposure, you know, and even low exposure levels can cause the chronic uh, silicosis, you know. And uh, uh, silica dust particles can uh, they act as like uh, tiny blades on the lungs, you know. And uh, these particles create small cuts that can scar the lung tissue when inhaling through the nose or through the mouth, you know. And uh, scarred lungs do not open and close as well, uh, making breathing more difficult, you know, if compared to the healthy lungs, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, there are certain kind of people who are at more risk like uh, uh, the people who work in the like asphalt manufacturing you know or maybe concrete production or maybe crushing or drilling rocks and concretes and working in the quarries you know uh, mining or maybe uh, tunneling or uh, uh, sand loss like uh, uh, blasting you know or maybe uh, glass manufacturing industry so those people are workers are uh, highly exposed to silica and they are at higher risk of getting silicosis, you know. And, uh, you know, it is a progressive condition, you know, and uh, meaning that it gets worse over the time. And uh, the symptoms may start out as an intense cough or maybe shortness of breath or maybe uh, like uh, weakness, you know. And other possible symptoms include chest pain, maybe fever, maybe like uh, respiratory failure, weight loss, night sweats, chest pain. And uh, having the silicosis increases your risk of uh, respiratory infections, including tuberculosis. You know. Okay. And uh, you should seek the medical advice uh, if you suspect that you are exposed to silica, you know, are you have the silicosis, you know, and your doctor will ask you the questions about when and how you may be exposed to silica, you know, and uh, they can test your lungs function, you know, and he will start with the medical history, will perform the physical examination, he will listen your chest, you know, uh, to find if there is any abnormality in the lung sounds, you know, and uh, he may advise then x-rays of the chest, you know, okay. And uh, he can spot any kind of uh, the small white spots. Uh, and uh, he may uh, uh, order the bronchoscopy. And 
Bronchoscopy is a test or a procedure, you know, which involves uh, uh, passing a thin and flexible tube uh, down the throat, you know, and a camera is attached to the tube, you know, which allows the physician, uh, physician to uh, view inside the lungs if there is any kind of scoring or any kind of abnormality in the, there, you know. So it helps to diagnose the silicosis, you know. Now once diagnosed, then what is the treatment option, you know? You know, silicosis does not have specific medical treatment. So the, the goal of the treatment is uh, uh, to reduce your symptoms, you know, and uh, to treat any kind of infections. And uh, the cough medicine can help you to, to cough the sputum and the antibiotics can help to treat the infections, you know. And the inhalers can be used to open up the airways, you know, to dilate the airways, you know. And the, some patients uh, uh, wear the oxygen mask to increase the amount of oxygen in their blood, you know. And uh, if you are diagnosed with the silicosis, you should uh, quit uh, working in the industries where you are uh, like uh, cement industry or stone industry or glass industry, etc., you know, so where you are exposed to the silicosis, you know, so stop working there immediately, find any alternative uh, job, you know. And, uh, you know, and uh, quitting smoking is uh, another uh, good decision, you know. And uh, the people with the silicosis are at increased risk of tuberculosis. So you should be tested for the tuberculosis as well, you know. Okay. And the patients with the severe uh, silicosis uh, may require a lung transplant, you know. But it depends on the uh, condition, how bad the condition is, you know. And it's up to your pulmonologist, you know, he is the right person to advise you. Uh, you know, silicosis has become less common uh, over uh, the time and uh, with the improved safety measures, you know. And uh, silicosis can still occur, but there is uh, no cure for uh, it, you know, at the present, you know. And... Uh, your long-term outlook depends on the severity of the condition and the intense lung scarring can develop in both accelerated and the chronic uh, uh, like uh, silicosis you know and the scarring destroys the healthy lung tissue so reducing the amount of oxygen uh, in the lungs and can transmit to them uh, like uh, uh, which is uh, uh, transmitted to the blood you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.